Hello, dear students, and welcome to this new academic year. I am going today in my video to give you a summary of the activities that we are going to do this week. Uh, so, happy new week! For days one and two, we are going to start with the icebreaker activities. We are going to have fun activities to introduce ourselves and know more about each other. So we will do fun activities to help us get to know one another. Then we are going to discuss the, our course outline of our uh, uh, course, math course and uh, the uh, lessons that we are going to cover this year and we are going to, uh, to uh, think about our classroom expectations and how to relate them to our IB learner profile. We need to have a very good class and uh, we need to uh, create our essential agreement uh, that have the, the, the things that we would like to see in our classroom. We will discuss also uh, the books and, and you will be introduced to them and uh, of course the materials that we are going to need in the, the math class. After that we are going to start uh, our uh, first lesson in our unit, lesson 1.1, which is going to be about decimals. We are going to learn all the operations that are related to decimals. We will be able by the end of the lesson, we will be able to add and subtract decimals, multiply them also, and we will uh, relate our operations, decimal operations to real world problems. So we'll be able to add, subtract, and multiply decimals to solve real world problems. That's going to be in the third day. So the first two days, we are going to have icebreaker activities to um, break the ice and uh, get to know each other. And we'll talk, of course, about the uh, things that would you would like to do. And we will be having so much fun. And after that, we are going to... Um, in the third day, um, the fourth day and the fifth day, we are going to start with our lessons in our book for the first unit. So as I told you, the first lesson is going to be about decimals, decimal operations. And the second lesson is going to be about dividing whole numbers and decimals. You learned before how to divide whole numbers. And this year, you are going to learn more about decimals and how to divide them. We are going to um, uh, get further explanation to this concept. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use place value structure to divide whole numbers and decimals. You will divide also whole numbers and decimals to solve real world problems. So it's very important to relate our topics and concepts to real world situations to help us know how we can use math in our daily life and in the world. And I wish you a great week.